In the wake of the Parkland High School shooting, a new generation of students have taken up the mantle of fighting for gun control. With the threat of violence in schools seeming to grow every day, gun control activists and interest groups have grown in size and relevancy. Despite this, pro-gun politicians and citizens alike halt gun control attempts at every turn. Jonathan Dorff, an American playwright with many professional accolades and over 1,600 productions, set out to make a difference. In the midst of the turbulent political climate, Dorff penned Declaration. 45 minutes long, with a large ensemble of students, Declaration shows a touching introspective on the minds of the potential victims of the nation's latest mass shooting. The show world premiered on January 10th and 11th, with schools across the country performing it on the same day. One of the participating schools is our high school, Thomas S. Wooten. Our production took place on the January 10th premiere, and went on to perform the show at Towson University as part of the Maryland State Thespian Festival. Our teacher, Jessica Speck, selected Declaration as part of a performing arts class where students both act and partake in committees centered on each aspect of production. Half the class acted, some in multiple roles, and some acting and aiding committees. Along with the complex line memorization and blocking, they also served as a large ensemble representing the student body. With limited time and resources, the build team crafted a fairly impressionistic set, with many locations embodied by simple objects as well as projections. Declaration required the use of intricate projections to convey certain ideas, which was accomplished via slideshow, and presented using a projector and semi-transparent shower curtain. Lighting was used in addition to the projections in order to set the mood for each scene, particularly scenes like Fade to Red. Scenes of mundane student life are lit conventionally, whereas scenes taking place during the shooting are distorted by intense lighting. Sound had the task of matching non-diegetic sound effects to the projections as well as a handful of diegetic effects for atmosphere. Since the show has a modern setting, costumes were mostly built to match the characters' personalities and backgrounds. For the expenses of going to the festival, we had to use various fundraising methods, and to market the premiere, our marketing department, headed by yours truly, created posters and a video ad to play on our school announcements. Production night drew a lot more audience members than anticipated, and quickly filled up our small venue. Admission was free, and friends and parents alike joined us for a night of drama and political introspective. Overall, the performance was a success, and the show was well received. Even in our own small production, so many people were touched by the tragedy represented in this play. Declaration, as well as other art forms, not only serves as a cautionary tale and a call to action, but as a platform for us to share our thoughts and feelings about the world around us. Declaration doesn't offer a clear solution to the problem of gun violence, because it sets out to capture a mental snapshot of a student forced into a life or death situation. Nobody knows the right answer, but through art we can empathize and know how it feels. If you want to learn more information about Declaration or Jonathan Dorff, visit www.jonathandorff.com. And if you want to donate to the cause or join the gun control movement, visit marchforourlives.com.